Day four of the 2023 World Championships continues to deliver as Molly O'Callaghan has broken the super suited 200 free world record on the women's side. This record held by 200 free legend Federica Pellegrini was set at 152.98 in 2009 at the famous super suited world championships in Rome, Italy. Let's give some context to that era of swimming as well as to Federica Pellegrini herself. In 2009, it was legal to wear full polyurethane bodysuits. Where is my meaning everyone was floating on top of the water, especially towards the end of their swims. And if your hips are high at the end of a, let's say 200 freestyle, then you're gonna be going much faster than you would have been otherwise. As far as Federica Pellegrini, she may be the most prolific 200 freestyler in history. And no, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say so. Going through her list of accomplishments in the event, let's just look at long course, Olympic champion, two Olympic medals, four-time world champion, eight-time world championship medalist. That's all in the 200 freestyle. Homegirl has won five major titles between world champs and Olympics in one event. She's also won four European long course titles in the tuner freestyle, a world short course title in the tuner freestyle, and famously appeared in five straight Olympic finals in the 200 free. She was on the elite stage for well over a decade and a half, just retiring at the end of the third ISL season, back in 2021. She was exceedingly consistent in this event. And not only that, but again, set the world record, becoming the first woman ever to go under 153 in the 200 freestyle. And her mark of 152.98 stood for 14 years. Pellegrini was also a world champion in the 400 freestyle, and actually the first woman to ever break four minutes in the event. Her world record in that event stood five years until Katie Ledecky broke it in 2014. As such, Pellegrini was known as a back half swimmer, but if we look at these splits, Molly O puts her a little bit to shame. We can see that Pellegrini was out 7-3, 8-2, 8-7, and then 8-6 on the back half. So really consistent splits there, but her first 100 is a little more impressive. For Molly O, oh, she was 55-9, and then 56-9 on the way home. So 6-9, 9-0, 8-8, and then a monstrous 28-11 on the last 50 split. To give a little piece of context to how fast coming home in a 28.11 is, Molly O'Callaghan outsplit David Popovich on the last 50 of this 200 freestyle by one one hundredth of a second. Yes, that is correct. The only man who has ever been 142 in the men's 200 long course freestyle without a textile suit split 28.12 on the last 50 of his 200 freestyle at this meet. That was en route to a fourth place finish and a 144.9. Obviously not David's best swim, but the facts are the facts. Molly O came home and one one hundredth faster. That's not a knock on David. Everyone has bad swims, but that is crazy that Molly O'Callaghan was coming home faster than the former world champion at this meet. And as we can see, she was home half a second faster than Pellegrini was when she broke the world record. Molly O was only a tenth of a second faster than Pellegrini, so we can see that she wasn't really close to world record pace until the last 50 meters. If we look at this heat as a whole, there was a lot more history made than just Molly's world record. Her Australian teammate Ariane Titmus went out hard and was ultimately caught by Molly O'Callaghan, but clocked a PB as well as the third fastest time ever, touching at 153.01, just behind Pellegrini's old world record of 152.98. Titmus now owns the third through sixth fastest times of all time in the women's 200 freestyle. Coming in third in this heat was Summer McIntosh at 153.65. That is a new best time and world junior record for the Canadian youngster and slots her in at the fifth fastest performer and eighth fastest performance of all time. What a freaking final in the women's 200 freestyle. That's two world records, a senior and junior world record, as well as three of the fastest eight swims of all time. This World Champs is continuing to deliver, and I can't wait to see what the back half of the meet holds. Hopefully, it's got a back half like Molly O does. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps us out. Don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know which world record you think is gonna go down next at this World Championships, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date every day of this 2023 World Championships and beyond. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.